Hi, I'm Bacola, a senior developer advocate at Grafana. In this video, I'll show you a simple way to start adding observability to your systems by using browser checks with Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring. Synthetic Monitoring provides proactive visibility into the health and performance of your services, enabling you to detect and address issues before they impact your users. Before we dive into the demo, let me briefly explain what Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is. Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is a black box monitoring solution which means it evaluates your services from an external perspective, similar to how users experience your services. It performs checks from both public and private probes distributed globally, allowing you to assess availability, performance, and correctness regardless of user location. With this solution, you can run a wide variety of checks like ping, DNS, TCP, and scripted checks. For this video, we will focus on a type of scripted check called browser checks. Now that we have an understanding of Grafana Cloud Synthetic monitoring, let's explore how to create your first browser check. Browser checks are designed to monitor web performance and are particularly useful for continuously tracking critical user journeys and workflows. With browser checks, you can simulate user interactions on a web page such as scrolling, clicking, navigating, and form submissions, execute requests both at the protocol level and within the browser to emulate realistic, interactive user scenarios, configure window sizes to test across various device views, including mobile tablet and desktop. All checks are powered by Grafana K6 browser testing API, enabling you to interact with your application and gain meaningful performance insights. Let's now walk through the steps required to set up your first browser check. For this demonstration, we will be testing a sample e-commerce website that allows users to browse and purchase various products. Setting up a browser check involves three key steps. First, we create a browser check script. Then we execute the script using Grafana Cloud. Finally, we analyze the check results. Browser checks can be executed either locally or through Grafana Cloud. In this tutorial, we will focus on cloud execution. To get started, you'll need a Grafana Cloud account. Once you are on the homepage, open the main menu and navigate to testing and synthetics. Select synthetics and then click create check. Choose browser as the check type, provide a job name, and we'll use the name store browser check. Set an instance name, we'll use the name test. And before running the test, you'll need to provide a script. While Grafana offers a built-in script editor for quick prototyping that you can see here, in this example, we will be using a custom script tailored for our use case. This script simulates a typical user journey on the demo site, including browsing through products and completing a purchase. Let's add the script to the editor and walk through the code. We start the script by importing the K6 browser module. Then we set up the required browser option in the scenario configuration. Next, we choose the target URL to test, which is the demo website. Next, we will mimic the following user action, visiting the homepage and waiting for products to load, checking the number of products displayed, visiting a random product page, adding product to the cart, confirming cart updates. Then we will check out just like a real user would. And finally, wait for confirmation header. Confirm order is complete. Lead. This entire test is wrapped in a try catch, so if we hit an error, the exception is caught and sent to the browser check. Once the test is complete, the page is closed. With our script now added, we can proceed to execute the browser check. Begin by deciding the timeout value for the check. If the check runs for longer than this period of time, the execution will automatically end and be considered a failure. For this demonstration, we will keep the default setting of one minute. You also have the option to assign labels. We will choose env test. We recommend adding a label in the future to allow you to see which results are associated with each label. Next, you can configure the alerting sensitivity level. For this example, we will leave it at the default setting. In the execution section, you can choose between public and private probe location. Grafana offers access to over 20 globally distributed probe locations. For this test, we will select Calgary, Canada as the probe location. Further down the configuration page, you'll find the option to set the test frequency. We will configure the browser check to run every five minutes. Once all settings are configured, click Save to initiate the test. You can also choose the test button to ensure the test works before saving. At this point, your browser check is now active and running. Our script has been running for the past week, so now let's review the test results. Each synthetic monitoring check includes a pre-configured dashboard that can offer key insights into your browser test. This dashboard provides metrics such as uptime, reachability, core web vitals, including FCP, first contentful paints, LCP, largest contentful paint, time to first byte, 
TTFB, cumulatively outshift CLS, along with other front end performance indicators. As you scroll through the dashboard, you'll find additional charts that offer deeper visibility, including assertions tested along with the count of pass and fail checks response time metrics showing how long the probe took to receive a response, data transfer metrics including the size of the payload sent and received, detailed logs of each request complete with timestamps for more detailed analysis. All data and visualizations are updated in real time as the test continues to run, allowing for continuous performance monitoring and faster issue detection. There you have it. You now know about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring Solution and how to create a browser check. You can check out Grafana Play Synthetic Monitoring to see a dashboard with various running checks. See the link below. If you want to learn more about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, make sure to check out this documentation link below. See you in the next video.